girls and welcome back to my channel so tonight we are going to do a chickpea pot pie and i've got a new chef in the house lauren is going to be doing the cooking for me and she's gonna make sure everything tastes nice and yummy and i'm gonna let her close us out today so i hope you guys enjoy the content thank you again for coming back to what's for dinner um and yeah so let's get cooking Okay, so here are the ingredients for tonight, um, and Lauren's going to do the cooking. You'll see her in just a minute. So we've got mixed vegetables here. I'm going to use one cup of the not chicken bouillon cubes and then one cup of the veggie broth. That will add just a little bit more flavor. Um, then we've got chickpeas. Um, we're going to use a little bit of unsweetened almond milk this is the vanilla flavor it's not hopefully it doesn't give it too much of a vanilla, vanilla fl taste to it but it's okay if it does of course a oatie but a goodie avocado oil and you know garlic powder i mean garlic always finds their way into the the mix in the recipe we got some all-purpose flour this is um whole wheat flour we've got a little bit of himalayan pink salt a russet potato, which we're going to chop up and put in the mix. And then Dad's already cut up the onion for us. So this is what's going to go in the base of the pot pie. And we're going to get that mixed all up together. And then we'll show you what we're using to make the bread. She's prepping the ingredients. You got this, Lauren. We have faith in you. Okay. Look at it. She's doing a, a good salt. job. Where's my salt? Shh. Don't talk about my salt. <laughs> As we get close up and personal with the <laughs> chef. Too close. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. You're going to share with us what you're doing and what we have here that's going to go in, what we've got all done. Okay. All right. Um. So right here is the um, bouillon cube. Um, some onions, um, mixed vegetables, um, vegetable broth, garlic, flour, and big plate of salt. It's not oh. that much salt, child. <laughs> uh, some milk, some potatoes, some garbanzo beans, and some oh, 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 avocado oil. All right, so she's already rinsed off the chickpeas or garbanzo beans, and I diced up the to the tomatoes, the potatoes, and I have them in water until she's ready to use them. We've measured out all the milk, the broth, and ooh, oh oh, don't take it off, and all the other ingredients to make cooking that much easier. So, you want to tell me what you got going on over here? Going on over here, okay, so an empty pot um, that's warming. Warming up right now. Okay. Don't stick your hand in there. You I'm can't. Just, I'm just warming. I'm just always just watching just what I do. <laughs> okay. And so once it is warm into temperature, you can go ahead and add some oil to it. Some olive. That's enough. She's heavy with this oil, y'all. I'm not sure not what that, that is. <laughs> but y'all know it doesn't take oil. much for this oil. When we're cooking. All right, so we've got the oil in. The pot is heating up. Next, you want to add in your chickpeas. Are we doing chickpeas or the potatoes first? No, onions. But you got to saute onions. your veggies. Okay, you saute the veggies then. What? Okay, so we're going to add the onions. Welcome to my world, Lauren. Yeah. Welcome to my world. And we're gonna add the garlic. Wanna we'll get a utensil, maybe? That's a good idea. What a red scraper. Yes. Mm -hmm. not so we've got the onions in the pot. She's gonna add in the garlic.
got all the garlic out. All right, she got all the garlic out. She's going to stir that up together and cook it down for how for just a few minutes. Don't be afraid. And we'll be back in just a bit. She's sauteing down the onions, making sure they get cooked together very well. And then we're going to add what, Lauren? The flour, vegetable broth, and almond milk. Okay. Flour. Flour. Sprinkle it in. Sprinkle. All over the box. Oh, yep, 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 yep. So that way, yep, yep, yep. Okay. You can take your spatula and mix it in. Okay. Take the spatula and mix it in. <laughs> Quickly. It's like dissolving already. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to step in. Okay. Alright. So we're going to combine this flour in just a little bit better to incorporate it in. Okay, while I'm stirring this in, she's going to pour in the broth. So she's got the regular veggie broth here, slowly pouring that in. Just a little bit. Hold on, hold on. So you want to make like a like a slurry, a gravy slurry. Go ahead and pour some more. It's a gravy slurry. Okay, too fast, too much. Okay, because you don't want it to clump up on you too fast. Here, you can stir. I'll pour. Okay. I'll start stirring. Stir it good though. Bring it all together. Um, we'll talk about. It. So the slurry is like, it's like how the mixture looks here, and I might be completely wrong, but I'm believing it's like, it's like a milky mixture, not completely soupy as water, but not thick like um, pancake batter. Okay. So we're going to keep adding in veggie broth, and then we'll bring in the almond milk, we're going to let that cook down. Again, the recipe for this will be in the description box on where we got this from. And this is, again, our chickpea pot pie. All right, so then this is the not chicken bouillon broth. So I'll slowly add that in while she stirs. She's a lefty, so it makes it challenging when I'm on the left side of her recording, but we got this. We got this one. See how the mixture looks like? that like it's thickening it up as it's mixing yeah okay that's kind of the texture you want for your pot pot okay all right add a little more oops a little too much sorry that's all right <laughs> we'll make it do what it do it's all, all right. gotta go in there at some point that's true a lot of chunky onions i don't know how to i'll fix that for okay. you here in a sec yeah. Just keep stirring. Just but that's what I was saying about going slow because mm -hmm. you'll get those chunks. But as we cook, we'll make those that's go away. Off. Way off. All right. Then we're going to add in the almond milk. So this is the almond milk. I'm going to pour it slowly because I don't want to. You see it's starting to thicken up? Yeah. Okay. You want to pour it, then stir. I don't like this. No, I'm going to do it the other way. Here, let me pour while you stir. I can pour. Oh, okay. We're pouring. <laughs> pour. Okay. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Okay. It's starting to look like that biscuit flavor. <laughs> Those just this. Okay. Well, this is like your gravy for the pot pie. Mm-hmm. It's always that like liquidy type. Hmm? It's just that water. liquidy type of stuff that like makes it even better. Okay. I'm gonna let her finish that, and then we'll be right back with the other ingredients. Okay. Now that I now that I have all the milk in, I'm gonna bring it to a boil and whisk it um, until it's smooth and thick. 
Ooh, how is it smooth and thick at the same time? Hey, I'm gonna <laughs> follow the recipe. Just follow the recipe. Okay. Ooh, it's boiling now. Yep, it's boiling. So you just keep whisking. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. Okay. Looks good. Looks like it's sticking up enough. Lauren, you want to go ahead and add the other ingredients? Yes. Now I'll take this. Now we're going to add the mixed vegetables. Very slowly so they don't pop back. That was slow enough. I'll stir them in while you add. How about that? Okay. Wait, there's one more thing here. Oh, okay. Such my daughter. Sure, come out. Okay, good. Yeah. Get it. I'll get it out of there. There's a corn in the corner. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, got it. All right. You got it? All right. So we've got the mixed veggies in. What else are we going to add? Now we're going to add the chopped potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes. All right. Sounds fine to me. Here, I'll help. Slowly. <laughs> Hey. I said slowly. <laughs> there we go. All the potatoes in there. And now we're going to add the garbanzo beans. All right. You can do them slowly. I did it slow enough. All right. I'll give you the whisk back and you can mix those in there. All right. So if you can see now already, the mixture is really thick like a pot pie mixture. We're going to let this cook for about five minutes. And then um, we should be able to transfer it five to ten minutes to let the potatoes cook down and the veggies to soften up. And then we should be able to transfer it to our casserole dish. Yep. We'll be back. Bye. <laughs> so we are now almost done with the mixture. No, I think it's um, done. We're going to add some salt. Oh, yeah. We can add salt. <laughs> Sprinkle it so it'll go all around. There we go. Good job. So we add it in the salt. You just take and tap it. Okay. Ooh. That's plenty. And we're going to mix it up. Sorry, ma'am. Go ahead. Yes, mix it up. <laughs> and so we're going to finish mixing up with the salt. I'm going to put this mixture into the pan right here, the grease pan. Um, now... Then we put it in the oven. oven. Well, first... After we put it in here, we'll put it in the oven. Yeah, we're going to put it in the oven. And then we're going to... Uh, make the top. Make the biscuits. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> make the biscuits. Um, and, and, then, and then we're going to put that in the... Uh, She's thinking, y'all. Oven <laughs> together with the chicken pop, chickpea pot pie mixture. All right. I'm going to, we're going to transfer this to the dish. Be right back. So now we put the mixture into the pan. We've stirred it. Is that a word? Yes. Okay. It is. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put this into the oven. It's already preheated. Yes. Yeah. Oh, please. Now we're gonna set a timer for how many minutes? Fifteen. Fifteen minutes. So put the time timer button. There it goes. And Stop. we'll be back when it's done. Yeah. So for the biscuit mix, we have butter, um, all-purpose flour, some baking powder, some milk, um, some salt, and some dairy-free cheddar stock sheds. Okay. What are we going to do with all of this? We're going to put it into this big bowl. <laughs> and we're going to mix it up. Put it on top of the chickpea pot pie mix. So this is the vegan butter melted. Just so you guys know. Just so you guys know. Oh, oh okay. 
Okay. Go ahead and just dump it. It's okay. You don't want to come out. Do you flower? Nope. Too much. <laughs> it's okay. Hold, please. You'll put the rest of it, some of that back in there. Um, uh, it happens. Yeah. Got to take your time. Baby powder. Hopefully that wears down the flower. <laughs> and some salty salt. We're gonna stir that in. Do you wanna make sure it's evenly, the baking powder gets evenly distributed. So make sure you mix it good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna, let me help a little bit, if you don't mind. Okay. Oh, all right. Hold it. Hold, Hold the bowl. <laughs> all right. Oops, sorry. I'm just, I'm just as messy as you, huh? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Get messy in the kitchen. <laughs> yes, you do. Next, you're going to add in the melted butter. Some melted butter. That in that little spot right there. Waste not, what not. Um, and then your almond milk. All the way over here, get some almond milk goes. So. little bit over. Okay. I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna mix it. This is just like baking a cake. Yeah. Because you gotta add the flour. Now that we stirred it up, we're gonna add some of the vegan cheese shreds. And I'm going to dump that in. There goes the cheese. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to mix this in so it can be cheddar biscuits instead of just, well, biscuits. All right. So the pot pie is out of the oven. We're going to top it with our biscuit mixture. Delicious. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to take, take this, this out. out. Okay, so now we're gonna scoop a no. load of this out. You don't need but a little bit and just start dropping them. Just drop it down. Okay. I'm gonna take a few of this in. I'm gonna go this way. There you go. And this becomes our crust. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna plop that in there. Than Spread it out so that way you can cover it all. Or you're gonna have half of it with it and half without. Good job, good job. Looks good. Yay. We're gonna add a little bit more to this one and then put it back in the oven for about 25 more minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're good to go. Looks like we're all done. We're gonna get it out of the oven and get it plated and Lauren will close us out today after dad tries it. All right, this is what it looks like outside of the oven. Um, if you don't want your biscuits to be the brown color, you can use regular all-purpose flour. We just happen to use the whole wheat. Lauren is going to plate it and dad is going to try it. So this is the plated version of the um, chickpea pot pie. This is my plates. So <laughs> we've got everything plated and um, my father over here is going to be trying it. 
um, to see how it tastes instead of me because it's my food. So, yeah. What do you think, Dad? Tell us. Tell us. Nice texture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you judge? Oh my goodness, it's hot. <laughs> Just oh, came out the oven. I'm aware. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I like the face expression. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. Okay. Good collaboration. Okay. What do you rate it? I rate it just like a Popeye. <laughs> that I used to eat when I ate chicken. When I ate mm -hmm. meat. Yeah. Like, one out of ten. One out of ten, ten plus. Mmm. I like it. So, Dad gave us a ten plus. It was a great um, collaboration. And... Um, Can you look at it? <laughs> and, um, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye. You want to tell them to be blessed? Be blessed. Let's just Shanti Speaks with LAJ Plays. Please go to my channel. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>